Hi, I'm Luke, welcome back to Fredabai, and today we're looking at Lomography 400. Before we dive in, you are able to buy the Lomography 400 film on our website, fredabai.uk forward slash store. So if you are interested in film and you're looking to purchase film, then do check out our website. We do have quite the array of film, so it is definitely worth heading over there to see what we have available. So you may know Lomography for a number of its films, most famously the Lomachrome, which takes after the old Kodak Air Aerochrome, I believe it was called, uh, but that'll be a different story. Today we're looking at Lomography 400, a possibly cheaper alternative to Portra 400. During this time when we were out shooting, I was keeping box speed for the entire thing, so when you are going out and you're using it, I'm not doing anything that you wouldn't normally do it says Lomography 400, 400 is the ISO, and that's what I tested at. So the only thing that was actually changing within the triangle was my exposure and my aperture. Although most of the time I was keeping it about f8 so that I could have my exposure kept at about 1 400th to about 1 200th. Anything further than that just only goes up to 400th of a second. Anything lower you start getting camera shake because this thing is a brick which is why I'm not holding it as I talk to you and it's not around my neck, it is on a tripod because it mostly belongs there because it weighs a ton. So what better way to go out and test the film than to go out and use the film because yeah. So moving on, my friend and I, we went out, we went over to a forest and we literally had about three hours worth of daylight to get some really interesting shots which was more of a challenge than it was us actually using the film but alas the photos came out pretty incredible. So, loaded it up, headed on out, and we just started to do some exploring. Now some of these photos when they came out, super happy with them, they were nice, I think the earlier shots they were a bit uh, maybe overexposed but again the sun was quite high so it was very tricky to get a balanced exposure but the film held up really well, the highlights were maintained to a very good degree and then when I faced away from the sun I was able to get better readings. I was just using an app on my phone. Really helped me nail my exposures almost every time. Uh, the almost bit is due to user error, not the phone itself or the app.
So we got to this really nice part of the shoot where we were trying to figure out how to get the shot. Now the shot you couldn't actually see from eye level because everything that was going on was actually about waist level which is perfect for my Mamiya RB67 thanks to its, if I flip it up, top down viewfinder. It was a very mixed bag. You had some very dark shadows in the foreground and some very bright highlights in the background. So I, the film was able to hold most of that detail. I just had to get out of the scan to actually get the shot that I wanted. And all of these shots were scanned from home. These weren't done in a lab. So I was having to edit with Lightroom to try and make the adjustments that I could. I also used the Lab Pro. Um, again, I'll link that here. I forgot the name of it right now, but that is a fantastic piece of software. It was able to get me those richer color tones that you can't get straight out of a normal negative scan. And then we went over to the other side of the pond and started to explore there. So anyway, that's what we did for the video. That's what I was able to get on my day out with the Lomography 400. It is a fantastic film and if you are interested, it is linked down in our description below. We do sell it along with the other Lomography films available as well. If you have any questions about it, leave it down in the comments below. And if you have any other films you want us to experiment with just so you can see uh, before you buy, then let us know as well. We want to make sure that we're covering films that you guys are interested in. Uh, but as always, my name's Luke, this is Fadabai, and we'll see you next time.